And there is something new in the fight against the virus when it comes to a potential vaccine. I'm hoping this is good news. Medical reporter Liz Bonus is here with how it might help stop this outbreak, Liz. It's actually very interesting, Paula. Good evening and good evening to you. As the coronavirus continues to spread, specialists at the National Institutes of Health are stepping up those efforts to find a vaccine. And while it will take time to test a vaccine and make sure that the vaccine is safe, take a look at this. It's a really important first step. It is a picture. That's what you're looking at here at the of the structure of what they call the novel coronavirus. It shows the part that causes COVID-19 and allows it to infect human cells. On it, NIH researchers say there are a few things critical to finding a vaccine. Scientists call these clear targets. They're actually proteins. That means you can attack those targets with a vaccine or another treatment. Here's what infection control specialist Dr. Stephen Blatt told me about it. It's kind of like a lock and key. So the virus attaches to the surface of the cell and then it gets itself into the cell through that target. And, and if we can block that somehow with either a vaccine or a medication, then we can stop the virus from spreading. Dr. Blatt has tracked infections for the TriHealth hospital system for years. As for how long it might take to get this vaccine that targets this virus or the proteins on the surface of it that have been discovered? It will certainly take some time. Uh, you know, the, the next thing we'll be able to hopefully do is develop vaccines that target that protein and, and medications possibly to attack that protein. But uh, even once we develop a potential vaccine or medication, we still are going to have to do some human trials. So I think that's going to be the uh, slow, slow part of the process. Now, until we have this, it is going to be up to us to, forget, to protect against coronavirus. It does kill easily on surfaces with disinfectant, hand washing. You need to stay away about six feet from anyone. And I hate to bring this up right now, but I don't know if you've heard just within the last 24 hours, uh, we heard about an Indiana case just outside Indianapolis. Kentucky has just announced their first case as well. This one said to be in the Lexington area. We don't know how these people are doing yet or how they came in contact. So it is up to us to defend against it, guys. All right, Liz, good information there.